This video is for Hank Green and anybody else interested in learning more about the potential roles of GLP-1 agonists such as Ozempic and Manjaro and allergies. Yesterday, he tagged me in a post on threads that was discussing a recently published article looking at two groups of individuals, those that were on GLP-1 agonists and those that weren't, and what diseases and other outcomes happened five years later in what we call an observational cohort study. And in the results section, it was reported that there was a 48% reduction in the number of allergic reactions that had occurred in patients that were on GLP-1 agonists. But based on the post on threads, I had no idea what they meant by allergic reactions. And I tried to look at the full article, but I didn't have access to it. But Hank was kind enough to send it to me. I read it all the way through last night, but still cannot understand what they meant by allergic reactions. So I contacted the study authors and they gave me a little bit more clarification. So what they did was they looked at an international claims database that used ICD-10 codes. And if you're not familiar with these codes, whenever a doctor diagnoses you with a condition, they write down these codes in your chart for billing and coding purposes, but also for epidemiological research to look at various outcomes in a large population. In this study, they used two codes, allergy unspecified, and then an adverse reaction to medication. Those are very broad diagnosis codes and are not specific. You can get very, very specific with these types of codes. As an example, there's codes for struck by a duck, bit by a pig, discord with neighbors, and sibling rivalry. And for allergic diseases, there are a lot of different codes that could potentially be used. So it's really hard to have any type of conclusion from this type of data. However, from my personal opinion, based on what I know about GLP-1 agonists, we know that GLP-1 could potentially help with decreasing leptin, and leptin is a hormone that could potentially induce a type of allergic inflammation called TH2 inflammation, which could lead to various allergic processes such as asthma and allergic rhinitis, but also by Using GLP-1 agonists and losing weight, you have less adipose tissue, which can lead to less inflammation and improve on the amount of allergic issues that are happening for people. So in summary, I think it's important to look at this a little bit more in detail and look at specific disease states rather than this general term of allergy unspecified. 